in trouble. We need Pizza Man. I'm on it. Hit me. Got it. Pizza Man again. All right, let's go. I'm eating pizza. You started without me. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Here's the packaging. Mama Cozy. Never heard of her. Here's what it looks like when it's frozen. Here's what it looks like when it's being put in the oven. It has an extra amount of sauce in the crust there, which I really like. Maybe it's because I'm hungry, but that is so good. I think that this is gonna be my number one. Everything about this is good. Mama Cozy, you are the winner. You win this. Yeah, let's just quit and go back to oldies. Hello, I'm JP. And I'm Julia. And today we're going to figure out what is the best frozen pizza. Give me your hat. I need to use it to do something. <laughs> <But ta. laughs> All right, I'll bring it back. <laughs> what do you got? I got home run in. <laughs> Give me. Oh, one I've had it before and I actually know what it tastes like. What'd you get? Totino's. Ew. <laughs> Totino's. $1.54. The original crisp crust. Everybody's had a Totino's. If you haven't, then you haven't struggled enough. <laughs> I like this flavor. It reminds me of my childhood. Plus, this is microwavable and pretty much tastes the same. This reminds me of when I throw up. Because I've only eaten them out of like pure desperation. They put holes in it just like White Castle. Home Run Inn, pizza, Chicago, $8.99. Pretty expensive. Sauce and cheese are on. The crust is kind of crispy, actually. It's like a croissant dough. That's a really good idea for a pizza. Come down here, JP. Honestly, I think this might be better than Florida pizza. Home Run goes above Cozy. Totino's goes under Cozy. We're gonna leave it right there. Home Run, I will buy again. Totino's, can we just put you at the, the <laughs> rock bottom? You are just vile. <laughs> I had no idea you didn't like it. I always buy it for I you. I know, I know. You and I never told me. Cause I'll still eat it. Next pizza, Tombstone. And we got Red Baron. Red Baron. Yum. $5.09. I don't know, is this gonna be good? Wow, it's looking kind of greasy. Red Baron has crust, pepperoni subpar. I like Red Baron, I like the sauce. The crust is way better. I don't like your cheese, I don't like your sauce. Red Baron, you're delicious. I like more of a robust flavor. Tombstone, $5.35. Kind of hefty price tag for a crappy pizza. It says it's full on flavor. The tombstone, I noticed, has these little tiny square pepperonis in it, so that's kind of cool. <gasps> Why is yours always so hot and mine's not? <gasps> yeah, that is hot. I just wanted to see if you were lying. It's just like sour ingredients on top of a biscuit. I don't like the crust because it doesn't give me that pizza feel. If a biscuit was trying to be matza. Matza pizza. <laughs> I just wouldn't get this. But Tombstone, if you do decide to sponsor me, I don't think it's that bad of a pizza. <laughs> that was pretty darn good. <laughs> Tombstone, you're going above Totino's. You're not that bad. Red Baron, you're going under home run. I am gonna put Red Baron underneath Totino's. And I'm gonna put Tombstone above Red Baron. You really like Tombstone? I like Tombstone better than Red Baron. With its matzo bread crust? Yeah, because I like a crunch. What list are you more like at this point? I'm more like me and you're like you. That's why I have the army and you have a squad. I should say squat, JP squat. <laughs> Ooh, I got a good one. What'd you got? California Pizza Kitchen. Ooh, I got a holy pepperoni. Ooh, this one's gonna be good. It's got tomatoes on it. Holy pepperoni, $9.29. This better be holy freaking good for that price. I feel like a cat clawing. <laughs> Dude, half pepperoni, half cheese. I love how mine came out. It's got like a toy on it, so I'm all about this pizza now. It's worth the $10. Ew, that's how it goes in your face. <laughs> Premium pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, secret recipe tomato sauce, stone fried medium crust. Yeah. I think I'm gonna like this. It looks really good. Cheers. What are you laughing about? It's bad? Yeah. Oh my Take a bite. You didn't cook it all the way. I'm back with my cooked pizza. It's got a horrible smell. Yeah, the pepperonis do give a weird smell. It tastes like spicy bologna. <laughs> it's okay. bologna pepperoni. So I've got the California Pizza Kitchen, $7.49. Ooh, little tomatoes on there, it looks so artisanal. Little fresh mozzarella chunks and the shreds on there. 
Your pizza is pretentious. It's very circular, extremely uniform. Your bottom looks wafery though. It's a little flaky on the bottom. The toppings are really good though. The sauce on mine is awesome. Like this is definitely better than Tombstone. So I'm gonna put holy pepperoni above cozy and I'm gonna put California Pizza Kitchen above that. California Pizza Kitchen was the bomb. Maybe I'll put it below Red Baron. Holy pepperoni, it's gonna go below Tombstone. Don't get it, but do get it if you're curious about how bad it is. And then maybe you'll eat it and be like, ah, it's not that bad. Take one. Oh boy. <laughs> DiGiorno. What do you have? Newman's. What's Newman? It's a salad dressing. <laughs> it is. I just, can I just grab Oprah's? Cause I like, I really. <laughs> DiGiorno Rising Crust, $6.81. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Um, fun fact, we got this delivered by Instacart. This pizza here is coming in at $6.99. 100% profits to charity since 1982. Newman's owning it, isn't it? Even like the branding on Newman's is like somebody that would eat Werther's Originals. That's Newman and Newman is thin and crispy. <laughs> Wow. Mine looks actually pretty good. It kind of looks like tombstone in the variety of it being small and thin and all of the toppings going all the way out to the crust. Possibly this one won't taste like a cracker. It should come with salad dressing though. Yeah, I need ranch with my pizza, Newman knows. This has got a big dough. That's how I feel about Red Baron too. Red Baron was soft pillowy plush dough. It's not delivery. It's doughy. It's not delivery, it's a donation to a nonprofit organization. Is that considered a deep dish pizza? It's not a deep dish. It's DoGiorno. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. DiGiorno, if you do sponsor us, I love you. Yours is so fat that it it doesn't even go out of focus. It's cornmeal. Oh. DiGiorno up in your game. It's gonna be like the closest to a pizza hut pan pizza. I mean, New York style pizza, thin crust. I would like better. The only kudos I'm giving DiGiorno is it is like delivery. Newman's own looks just like a cracker like before. Ah, there it is. Mine's crispy, it's not greasy at all. You put this on top of this and you get <laughs> close to what you have here. <laughs> it's DiGiorno. Wow. This holds up as pizza crust and not a cracker. Newman, give me some ranch. Nope. No? Nope. This is better than Tombstone. That actually is worse than Tombstone. Really? That don't even have a, the sauce is like completely flavorless. It tastes tomato paste. I think it's awesome. Yes, get it to support the cause and you won't be that upset at the pizza. It's good. So, Newman's. Newman's is gonna go above Totino's. And then I'm gonna put DiGiorno right underneath Red Baron. Newman's going below Tombstone. Sorry, Newman. DiGiorno, you are number two. Wow. I thought I hated DiGiorno. Why did... But you do like it. I do. What pizza shall it be? You're dropping it out. Live G free. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. That's not what it says. <laughs> <laughs> I have the grocery store brand pizza. The Publix Crispy Crust Pizza is coming in at $3.99. $3.99, that's actually a pretty good deal. Customize your pizza by buying more ingredients at the grocery store and putting them on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, Publix. Live G Free, $4.99. That's half of this. And $1 more. And this is at Aldi's. I will say that these packages are not as entertaining as the last batch. Like this design, it literally is blocking the pizza. Hey, you know what? Publix does not flake on pepperonis on their pepperoni pizza. I'd almost call this a holy pizza. I would almost call this a holy, I have only five. <laughs> <laughs> we have a Publix pepperoni pizza with Publix pepperonis. Mine looks a little greasy. It's a little wet in the center. Ow, oh, almost, almost oh. dropped all of that. Holy cow, this kind of tastes like fresh, almost made at home pizza. It's good? You might like that. Okay. But everything I've liked so far, you haven't liked. Yes. Mmm, Publix, wow. You right? 
I'm so glad you like it. It just looks so unappetizing. Gosh darn you, Publix. Is there anything you can't do? Live G. This is rice dough. It's gluten-free. Reminds me of Signs, that movie. If I had to like eat pizza and I had a gluten allergy, I might just not get pizza. But I'm glad it's available as an option for those that need it. Publix, I'm gonna put it above California. Live G is also gonna go down here as an outlier because I don't think it counts. Publix, you are up there with the Red Baron. Live G, it's an outlier. We're, we're not gonna rank it. But you put it at the bottom. Like away from the other <laughs> answers. Got it. Okay, wait. Mama Cozies. We already tried that. <laughs> <laughs> I got Freshetta. Freshetta bakes better. I think that's their slogan. Slogan! Oh, slogan! Freshetta, natural rising, $6.81. Another Mama Cozy comes in at $2.19. I feel like the machine keeps messing up my pie. <laughs> it just looks stamped out wrong. <laughs> but this is an Aldi find and pretty affordable. So many oh. pizzas are just like crackers. Oh my God. Look at this, I can show you. That. <laughs> That's like if you cut like a stump. <laughs> None of the top things fell off right there. Did you see that? That's like the stepchild of the tombstone. Hey, I like this. That is disgusting. <laughs> it tastes like Chef Boyardee on a pizza. Freshetta tastes better. I think I made that slogan up. Freshetta, it's better. This is quality. Look it up, dude. Super, I love natural rising crust. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but it's good. This is the best pizza I've ever had. Isn't the sauce good on the prosciutto? Oh my god. I know. Even the dough is good. I know. It's like, oh my god, you look like you're suckling on the pie. <laughs> it's not a nipple. Just get this. I think it's the winner. So I'm going to put cozy thin above cozy thick because they both taste exactly the same. And then I'm also going to put Freshetta on my list underneath Home Run. I must have been hungry yesterday when I had Mama Cozy's because this is awful. Maybe it's because I'm hungry, but that is so good. Freshetta, number one. Um, Mama Cozy, you're not like that bad, but you're definitely above Live G. So Freshetta is actually better. It is. Okay, two more. Grab the hat. If whoever gets Oprah has something underneath their seat. <laughs> <laughs> And Amy. Uh, <laughs> I got Oprah. Oh my god! <laughs> it was underneath your chair the whole time. It's no longer frozen. Is this a cauliflower crust? No! Yes! So Oprah should have two pizzas. One that makes you lose weight and then one that makes you gain weight. Oprah pizza, $7.99. Pretty hefty. And I've got Amy's over here, $6.99. Dude, Oprah's got other food. Amy also has other food. <laughs> this is like a weird, perfect comparison. Oprah versus Amy. Julia, we should be doing this. Yeah, your face could be here. <laughs> JB. Healthy junk food frozen pizza. It would sell. All right, mine looks boring. That is the saddest thing that costs $6. <laughs> It might be tasty. Yeah, if they put cheese on it. Maybe I should put some uncured pepperonis on this thing. Maybe you should put another pizza on it. Amy, I don't know. I'd rather do Oprah right now. <laughs> I like how there's sauce all the way around the crust. I like it saucy. You have a lot of pepperonis on there. Give me some of them. <laughs> That's not fair. I'll give them back. Now it looks the same as before. <laughs> Oprah. Amy, best friends. The final two. Ooh, that crust, I don't know. Ooh, it smells like cauliflower. I like cauliflower. Careful your fingers. <laughs> oh no, what's that? It's Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Wow, I think we saved the worst for last. I don't know, maybe it's tasty. It's cheesy, it's saucy, all the way to the crust. Cheers. To the last bite. To be honest, I could get down with this crust on this Amy's pie, but the sauce kind of reminds me of tomato soup. Tomato soup sauce? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should be dipping my grilled cheese into that. Like tomato soup, right? Oprah, you have a great show, I love it. This, however, 
It's like dry cauliflower. <laughs> Your eyeballs are making me laugh. It's so chewy. It doesn't taste like what I want it to taste like. Cauliflower crust is not gonna be as good as dough. So it's another outlier. We should have never done it. Amy, tomato soup pizza. I'll put you above Newman. I really didn't like Newman. You don't have any toppings on you. So I'm gonna put you underneath Newman. But Oprah, you're disqualified. We need to be comparing apples to apples. Here it is listed on the screen, JP's list and my list. Who are you more like, a JG or a? P-Man. JP. There you have it, folks. It's the end of our pizza journey of frozen discoveries. We learned something very important, and that is freshetta is better. So how about let's change it up and let me do the blind taste test. Okay. Tombstone? No. Is this a tombstone? <laughs> tombstone. Nope. Did I already say tombstone? No. Is that tombstone? <laughs> yes! I know what it is. Totino's. Okay, good. Freshella. Wow, that's good. How'd you know? Sauce. <laughs> what do you mean, like a cyborg? It's the gluten-free one. Yeah. Oh, is this the holy pe pepperoni? Yeah, actually it is. Cool, because there's a lot of pepperonis on there. <laughs> is that how you figured it out? DiGiorno. Really? You didn't even eat any of it. I know, because I know. Is this the um, home run? Yeah. How do you know? Because it tastes like real cheese on top. I know what it is because it doesn't have any pepperonis on it. No. Amy's. No, it's a pepperoni. Thin cozy. Thin cozy? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Thick cozy. Thick cozy? You didn't even eat it. I know. I'm just checking for sausages. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're not. Yes. <laughs> Are you going to eat it? <laughs> is this Oprah? Yes, it's Oprah. Oprah. Give it, just give it to me. I knew it was chewy. You don't know what it is, you only got two left. <laughs> but I forget. It's Red Baron. The last one, by the process of elimination, is thick and cozy. Got it. You want me to move your blindfold? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for coming along. Another episode of Healthy Junk Food. New to the channel, subscribe, hit the bell icon. It notifies you when we post. And normally we do a lot of cooking. Today we did a lot of heating up of stuff. Hope you enjoyed. I gotta go now. I'm gonna go down here. I gotta clean the floor.